everybody, how are you all? We're gonna kickstart this week with a great little topic video full of tips to help you get more out of your exercise. And even for some of you, um, this may have put you off exercising, which is actually really sad. Are you overthinking about your muscle connection, be that your core, pelvic floor, etc. Are you overthinking it? Is it stressing you out? Has it got to the point where you're that worried about if you're doing it correctly? It's actually putting you off doing your exercise. All right, okay, so yes, core activation is important, okay? And obviously for some, it's possibly more important than others. So what we all need to think about is our own goals, where our own strength is, where our function is, if we're injured, etc. Let me just turn off that Wi-Fi. So that should be better now. Also, any questions, comments, please let me know. Okay, so if you've been following me over the past few years, I many, many years, we'll know that to heal your diastasis and improve pelvic floor muscle function, we have to think about activating those muscle groups at first during our exercise but how much is too much and does it really matter if we're not getting things perfectly right what do we need to be thinking of through our exercise um, so that our heads don't explode because in those initial stages of rehab it can be more of a mental workout as our bodies get used to exercising again even after rehab etc after surgery so what's the best plan what do we need to do okay let's think i'll take you through how i exercise what's important with your exercise over a lot of things is technique if you've got good technique for an exercise, you're gonna get more out of it, which means you're gonna reach your goals, see the benefits, improve your fitness and strength. Okay, so yes, we absolutely do need to think about strength. For those of you who have got possible prolapse, working on that, we do need to think about how we're lifting and engaging your pelvic floor muscles throughout the exercises. Those of you healing a diastasis, yes, we need to think about your core connection and that transverse activation. So how do we do it? How do we incorporate it? How do we not get too bogged down thinking about what we need to be activating? Is it right, etc.? Am I doing this right? Are my ribs relaxed? Are my hips level, etc.? Okay, so on your first set, all right, what I want you to do is think about the technique of the exercise. So a simple squat, okay? This is when you're not fatigued, it's the first set, okay? It should feel pretty good, and you're going to think about that technique. So through a squat, I'm gonna think about weight back through my heels, sitting back, just moving back through my hips. I want it to feel natural. I'm also gonna think about having my hips um, hips level and my hip rather than my and my chest up. So I'm just going through it, not overthinking everything. I'm not too worried about the counts. I'm just kind of going to go to where I feel that fatigue. And if you know, if I'm aiming for ten, if I do 12, 13, then that's okay. It's not a bad thing. Second round, what am I going to think about? Well, I'm going to start to think. Hold my brain's going to hold my technique. It's just done that, so it's going to remember it. So now I wanna think about where my weakness is, and that's often pelvic floor, and obviously at the moment, my left knee. So at, through the second set, I am gonna focus on that only. I'm thinking pelvic floor, and I'm watching my knee. I'm not worrying about anything else. Nothing at all, okay? Just thinking about that, I've got good technique, hoping my core is working well, it's activating as it should because I'm thinking about my techniques. So I don't need to think about transverse as well and technique on that second round. On the last round of anything, just think about one thing. 
okay? So if you've been working on rehab, continue to think, think about that weakened side. If you've got a prolapse, you guys think, make sure that you've got that support. Diastasis, let's just go through the set. Don't overthink it. You don't need to worry about anything now. If you've thought about activating your transverse on that second round, it should be switching on a little bit more automatically. So now you can think of, of the exercise and let's go through that challenge. Okay, so throughout your exercises, do try and get the basics right, okay? And once you've done those basics, you don't constantly need to think about those. You, you should have it after three weeks where your brain and body is starting to work automatically. So that is starting to carry over through our exercise. So you don't need to think about that transverse activation throughout your entire exercise set, whether that's 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Let's go technique. Then we can go core activation and then work through on that third set. Let your body do what you've just told it to do through the first rounds and really start to work. Go a little bit deeper in your squats. Push yourself, do a few extra reps if you need to, okay? But just give your brain itself brain a rest. Also in exercises, you know, if you were doing a basic bicep curl, you know, unless you've got a prolapse, do you need to be really concentrating, thinking about no technique, okay? And your core muscles should be starting to work actively. You can check if they're not. Okay, so if we're looking at technique for a basic bicep curl, hips and ribs step, we don't need to be thinking pelvic floor, transverse, chest up, before we even do a rep. Just think technique, all right, I'm doing it. Things are switching on as they should. Let's just try and get out of this habit because it can really mess with your brain and then you don't end up enjoying your workout or it stresses you out too much. Any comments, any questions, let me grab a ball back here um, to sit down and I was um, sitting down on a smaller ball to start with. Any questions, comments, please place them below. Please use, you know, Follow our programs. We've got programs for everybody. Pregnancy is fit to birth. Birth to fit mum is our postnatal one. Then we've got super fit mum. We've got a fit mum power cot and our brand new um, pause fit, which is for women over 38, mid 40s, starting to feel the effects of perimenopause, how we're getting the best out of your exercise, working strength, cardio and flexibility within the session, so focusing on everything. All right, so don't overthink things. If you're unsure, let me know. Also, as a guide through all our programs, I mention this to people all the time. Okay, we can't do it. All right, also, throughout the day, only think about those core muscles and your posture when you most need it. Vacuuming, hanging out the washing, I start to think about my core connection because you know, when we're sitting down, if uh, lots of us are working a lot of time, we aren't thinking about it. So when we're up and around, if we can get more use of, out of our body and how we're holding ourselves throughout those daily activities, then we will get more out of our um, lives, basically. Um, and to help with our not only mental wellness, but also physical fitness as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's chat on not overthinking it. All right, talk to you soon everybody and visit the website pregnancyexercise.co.nz. We have a free taster series going at the moment and the No More Mummy Tummy Challenge starts next Monday. All right, bye everybody.